My name is Katie Burns and I'm the pollinator atlas entomologist at DEM. So today we're out here at Spallet Marsh and we're going to be doing a bumblebee survey. So it's really important that we do this work so that we can see which species of bumblebee that we have here in Rhode Island and also where they like to live and what they like to eat because this can help us better protect them and conserve them for years to come. So we're going to walk around our one hectare site here today and we're gonna do that for about 45 minutes and we're gonna be looking for bees on all of the flowers that we see here. And when we find a bee, we're going to catch it, put it in a cooler so it can go to sleep and we can take pictures of it. And this way we can see which bees are out here and how many of them are flying around today. All right, so I just caught a bee here. Looks like a little worker. We're gonna see who she is. So when we catch a bee, we pause our timers. We're crawling up right here. It looks like she's got some big pollen loads. So we're gonna bunch around her so we can protect my fingers. Get that vial up there. Of course, <laughs> you wanna move slow and steady to protect both her and you. She does have a stinger. Oh, I know, you're so mad. Don't worry, we release her at the end. So she just has a little visit with us so we can learn more about her before we release her. This. Hi friend, I know. I know. There we go. And then there she is. All right, let's see who we have here. All right. So once we caught these bees, we put them in a cooler so they could chill out a little bit. So you can see she looks pretty still, which is a little scary because you're like, oh no, is she dead? She's not. She's just sleeping. And as soon as she wakes up and warms up, she's going to go right back to foraging. She's going to bring all this pollen back to her babies. She's going to be totally fine. But the reason we do this is because bees move really fast and it's hard to take pictures of them when they're moving that fast. So we cool them down so we can get more accurate pictures of them so that we can tell their species. So this is a, I think, female carpenter bee. Let's look at her face. Yeah, so female carpenter bee, you can tell because she has pollen all over her. Um, males don't collect pollen. They're just responsible for mating. She also has a black face, which is kind of hard to see here, but you can kind of see male carpenter bees would have a white face. So this is Xylocopa virginica, um, the eastern carpenter bee. Bumblebees are really important because they are pollinators, which means that they carry pollen from one flower to another so that those flowers can produce seeds and fruits. And so these seeds and fruits are really good food for not only wildlife like birds and mammals, but also for us. They help us have the food that we like to eat. So if we lost them, then we'd lose this really important service that they provide us. So I love my job because I love insects. I think insects are the coolest. They're kind of like real life dragons or Pokemon, just really, really small. So the fact that I get to hang out with insects all day is the best part of my job. And the fact that the work that I do also helps protect these super cool insects is just an added bonus. All right, so this is our last bee of the day. We just took her pictures, so she's all ready to be released. Um, today we found three worker bees and three carpenter bee females. In addition to several others we saw flying and also marked down. Um, so this is the third survey that we've done here at this marsh um, and we're going to do one once a month until October. And like I said before, there are surveys like this happening all over the state and in 2023 you could do one too. Alright, here she goes. Bye babe. <laughs>